Hello, everyone. We are ready for a CCO student webinar number 91. Great information for today. We're going to talk about aneurysms, the medical coding behind aneurysms. They're very common, uh, much more common than you think. But one of the interesting facts about aneurysms is they don't often get documented on office visits and therefore it's missed opportunities a lot of times. And so it's important that you know all the information that's needed both to code aneurysms and you may be called to educate your provider on pulling that information from imaging, for example, into the documentation. And they may ask you, well, what information do I need to, to provide? And because you have a good foundation knowledge of the type of codes associated to aneurysms and all the information behind aneurysms, you'll be able to uh, give them that information with uh, confidence. So the basic information, again, that is going to be a knowledge base for you is what is an aneurysm first? And it's actually just a bulging or a weakening of the vessel. It's an artery. And we have to remember that arteries have elasticity behind them. Veins have valves that flap, right? And that's how they they get the blood from um, going back and also uh, keeping a constant forward movement, whereas arteries are getting the power behind the pump of the heart that's pushing. And so that expansion allows the blood to move forward. And if the vessel itself becomes weakened at any point or in any part of that lumen, uh, part of the artery, then there could be a thinning or an aneurysm developed. Uh, also, what will happen is that lumen, that tube could start increasing and thinning out in size. And ultimately, it could rupture. If you have a rupture of an artery, no matter where it's located in the in the body, it could be life threatening. Now, <clears throat> all of the codes will have uh, a code for with or without rupture. Right. So two codes uh, for just about every aneurysm that's possible in the body that can be coded. And if it says with rupture, then, you know, that's going to be critical and usually is an inpatient code. If you're in the outpatient setting and the code is being used for with rupture, it's not accurate, it, it, most likely, because it uh, is an acute emergency situation when you see that. What we'll find often uh, in the real world, <laughs> not for testing purposes, that the the code will get used that they saw in the emergency room or that was used in the hospital, and they'll just pull that code over. Uh, and we, we don't want that to happen. Once they get uh, into the outpatient setting, then it's a history of an aneurysm. And, there, and of course, uh, part of the repair and, and information will be documented. The other thing is we need to be very aware of what can exacerbate or cause an aneurysm. Uh, aneurysms are actually just a wearing out of the vessel. Uh, what is contributing factors to that? It is going to be cholesterol. Once you have that buildup and that plaque, uh, that also makes the pressure um, in the vessel itself and that lumen uh, uh, more severe. Think about when you have a water hose and you are, you know, you don't have an end to the water hose and you have to put your thumb over it to make it, you know, straight and spray out. But then if you were to screw on a, a um, end, you know, so that you can do different settings, what that does is whenever you start uh, a lumen or a um, a tube and you start narrowing it at, at the end point, then it's going to build up pressure. So that's what those things do. And that happens in, in um, the arteries. Uh, cholesterol can do that. It narrows it down. Smoking, it is extremely harmful to uh, vessels. Diabetes, uh, when a person has a family history, because a lot of it is congenital, uh, 
and then high blood pressure, especially over an extended period of time. And these all will increase the risk factors of developing an aneurysm. Well, how do they treat it? What do they do? They give you anti-hypertensive um, medications to keep your blood pressure under control. Uh, if you have that pressure being built up because of the strength of the heart trying to get the vessel, uh, the blood through all of those vessels, then it um, can result in aneurysms, anticoagulants to thin the blood out, those uh, as well as interventional uh, going in and rotor rootering out the vessels or doing a repair of the aneurysm. 